Carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine are the two medications that belong to anti-epileptic drugs. You can find that both of these drugs have the similar suffix azepine. Chemically, they are related. Oxcarbazepine is a new medication which is related to carbamazepine. Both of these medications can be used for the treatment of epilepsy and they are classified as anticonvulsants. They can also be used in the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia and bipolar disorder. But among these drugs, which is better? How do they differ in their side effects and drug interactions? What is the choice in a particular clinical condition? All such things we will discuss in this video. First, let us see how they act. Both carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine act in a similar way to reduce neuronal activity. Both of these drugs block voltage-gated sodium channels. Thereby, they reduce neuronal excitation and conduction. This reduces the frequency of neuronal firing and suppresses the epileptic seizures. They are also helpful in reducing pain associated with trigeminal neuralgia. Even they can modulate the mood swings in people with bipolar disorder. Even though they produce the same action on the body, they are not acting in a similar way. Carbamazepine is an active drug that does not require any bioactivation in the body. However, oxcarbazepine is a prodrug that is going to be metabolized in the body and one of its active metabolite is s like carbazepine. Then which is better in blocking voltage-gated sodium channels? At this point, both of these medications are similar except in one aspect. Carbamazepine is an active drug whereas oxcarbazepine is a prodrug where they are used. Carbamazepine is a first-line agent for treating focal and generalized tonic-clonic seizures. However, due to its adverse effects and possible drug interactions, oxcarbazepine can be used for treating focal seizures. Sometimes it can also be used for treating generalized seizures. Therefore, in the treatment of epilepsy, oxcarbazepine shows fewer drug interactions and fewer side effects compared with carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is a old generation drug whereas oxcarbazepine is a new generation agent. The second clinical use is in the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia. For this purpose, carbamazepine serves as a first line agent for controlling pain associated with trigeminal neuralgia. For this condition, oxcarbazepine can be used as an alternative when this carbamazepine is less tolerated. Carbamazepine produces drowsiness and dizziness in the people. When these side effects are not tolerated, then oxcarbazepine is used as an alternative. The third clinical use is in the treatment of bipolar disorder. Carbamazepine is approved for treating bipolar disorder where it can control the mood swings in the people. However, oxcarbazepine is not approved for this purpose. It can be used off-label for treating bipolar disorder. Another clinical use of carbamazepine is for the treatment of diabetic neuropathy and post-herpetic neuralgia. Again for this condition, oxcarbazepine is used off-label. Therefore, carbamazepine is proved useful in treating trigeminal neuralgia, whereas oxcarbazepine is better in the treatment of epilepsy. Now, what are the side effects? Carbamazepine is linked to many side effects. It mainly produces dizziness and drowsiness. It can also produce ataxia, a lack of coordination leading to risk of falls. These side effects are somewhat less intense with use of oxcarbazepine. Fatigue is another important side effect produced by carbamazepine. Carbamazepine can produce a skin rash in a few people. It may be observed in people with HLA bean gene disorders. This condition is somewhat rarely observed with oxcarbazepine. Carbamazepine may have an effect on your liver. It is extensively metabolized in the liver and it can induce metabolic enzymes. It can also induce liver toxicity. This medication can also produce another condition called agranulocytosis, which is a rare but serious condition resulting in a low count of white blood cells. It can also induce aplastic anemia. Therefore, use of carbamazepine requires monitoring for liver functionality and WBC counts. These side effects are not associated with oxcarbazepine. Therefore, 
such regular monitoring is not required with oxcarbazepine however this medication can produce a condition called hyponatremia resulting in low sodium levels in the body this may produce confusion and sweating therefore while using oxcarbazepine sodium level should be closely monitored drug interactions carbamazepine is a strong inducer of cytochrome p450 enzymes due to the induction of this enzyme it can affect the metabolism of many of the medications leading to their loss of efficacy it can increase the metabolism of oral contraceptives that result in loss of contraception it can also increase the metabolism of warfarin and other anticoagulants leading to an increased risk of clotting antiepileptics like phenytoin can also show strong drug interactions with carbamazepine on the other hand oxcarbazepine is a weak inducer of cytochrome p450 enzymes therefore at therapeutic doses it has few drug interactions compared with carbamazepine it can also induce it can also reduce the even though it can reduce the effectiveness of oral contraceptives but with other medications oxcarbazepine shows weak drug interactions therefore when our drug interactions are more troublesome oxcarbazepine is a safe alternative next one is the doses both carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine should be started at a low dose for better tolerability however the starting dose of carbamazepine is somewhat less compared with oxcarbazepine it can be started at 100 to 200 mg per day whereas oxcarbazepine requires a starting dose of 300 to 600 mg per day oxcarbazepine has a short half life so it needs more dose adjustments carbamazepine can show an auto induction that means it can induce the metabolic enzymes thereby it can increase the metabolism of itself on longer use the maintenance dose of carbamazepine is variable from 800 to 1200 mg per day whereas oxcarbamazepine is from 600 to 2400 mg per day both of these medications can be given twice daily cost effectiveness carbamazepine is a old generation medication so it is available at a cheaper price compared with oxcarbamazepine metabolism carbamazepine is a dibenzazepine derivative it is going to be metabolized in the liver and it can produce one of its active metabolites carbamazepine 10-11 epoxide this epoxide is a toxic metabolite that can produce liver damage on accumulation however oxcarbamazepine is a structural analog of carbamazepine with a modification at the 10th position it is a 10 keto analog of carbamazepine therefore it cannot produce the epoxide metabolite instead it acts as a prodrug and it can be metabolized into its active form s lycarbazepine this is the s isomer of lycarbazepine it is an active metabolite and it is not producing any liver damage it even acts as a weak enzyme inducer on the other hand carbamazepine and its metabolites can act as strong inducers of cytochrome p450 enzymes therefore oxcarbamazepine produces fewer adverse effects on the liver and it has fewer drug interactions in summary for the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia carbamazepine is proved better and well tolerated whereas oxcarbamazepine is only used as an alternative for treating epilepsy and bipolar disorder oxcarbamazepine is better due to fewer drug interactions and fewer hematological side effects leading to better tolerability carbamazepine has significant side effects like dizziness drowsiness a granulocytosis aplastic anemia and even liver toxicity such troublesome side effects are not observed with oxcarbamazepine however this medication can produce hyponatremia leading to low levels of sodium in the body so that's all about the differences and similarities between carbamazepine and oxcarbamazepine i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching see you in the next video